Hi, I am uh, Asoli Radio, and today I want to show how to find how many relatives one will have. This is also good for ratification of the shop to see if uh, your ascendant is correct. If in the chart the um, descendant and uh, other aspects of our life doesn't have any logic, it means that the descendant is not correct. Now here I'm presenting uh, in seven charts. One chart is on Lee Harvey Oswald, Mary Monroe, my father, my child, and my brothers. Now the rules are the third house and the third lord. If uh, any planets aspects the third house, it is one relative. If one planet aspects any planet aspect, the third lord is one relative. If these planets that aspect the third lord or the third house are in dual signs, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and Libra, it will be doubled. If Venus aspects the third lord or the third house is doubled because Mercury is a dual planet. If any of these planets are in the star of the eighth group, who Rao aspects the third house, the third lord, or any planet that shows a relative, it will be reduced. Let's start with Lee Harvey Oswald. He had two brothers, <coughs> according to Wikipedia. Now, the ascendant is Gemini. And the third house is Leo. Now, we will start with the fir third house. The only planet that aspects Leo is Mars with his eight aspects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Mars aspect the third house, one. <coughs> then we go to the third lord, that is the Sun. The Sun is conjoined with Mercury and Venus. Mercury gives two brothers as he is a dual planet and Venus as he is conjunct Mercury he also gives two relatives then we have Saturn and Aspis, the third lord one two three four five six seven and he, he gives another relative the total is six Now let's see the, if there is any reduction. I remember he had two brothers. Mars is in eighth house. <coughs> Mars in eighth house. So less one. Mercury conjoins Rao. Less one. Venus conjoins Rao. Less one. Saturn aspected, aspects, uh, is aspected by Rao. Less one. So. 6 less 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is 2. Remain, the total is 2 brothers, correct. If I move to Taurus Ascendant or Cancer, it will not work. It means that Gemini is the correct Ascendant. My Monroe, she had... My Monroe had two relatives 
half's siblings. The ascendant is Cancer. And the third house is Virgo. Now, the third house has Mars aspect, eight aspect. This is Mars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, it shows one relative. The Lord Mercury, the Lord of Virgo, is Mercury. That is oh, Mercury. Mercury is here. Conjuring is the sun. So the sun, the sun, conjuring is Mercury. As Mercury is a dual planet, uh, it shows two relatives. So one relative is shown by the, the Mars aspect, and two relatives are shown by the sun conjoins that conjoins uh, Mercury, a dual planet. So, in total we have three, but as Mars is in 8th house, this is the 8th house, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we reduce by 1. So, the total is two siblings, that is correct, she had two half siblings. Now we go with my father chart. The ascendant is Libra and the third house is Sagittarius. The Lord is Jupiter in the third house. <coughs> now, Venus from a dual sign, Gemini, aspects the third house. So he shows two relatives. Saturn from his 10 aspects, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, aspects the third house, so 2. The third lord is in the, the third house. The dual sign again, number 2. So the total of the, that the third house shows is 6 relatives. Now we go to the third lord. The third lord is in the third house. The third lord. The third lord is aspected by Venus from a dual sign two, and by Saturn, again by in a dual sign two. So it's four. The total is four relatives. It's showing four, ten, <coughs> six plus four. So the third lord is showing four relatives. The total is ten relatives. Now we have to reduce, starting from the third law. Jupiter in eight law star in Puva Shadow. This is the eight house. This is the eight law. He is in Puva Shadow. Sorry. Yeah. Puva Shadow. Venus, the Shadow, the eight law. So let's one. Saturn is aspected by Rao, one, two, three, four, five, less one. Venus is the eighth lord, less one. So the third lord shows three reductions. Now we go to the third house. The third house, again, Jupiter is in the third house, is in the eighth lord star, less one. Saturn is aspected by Rao. Less one. Again, Venus is uh, is an eight lord. Less one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six reductions. Ten less six is four relatives. 
In fact, my father had three sisters and one brother. <coughs> now we go to my brother's child. My sm smallest brother has Libra ascendant. The third house is Sagittarius. Now, the sun and the moon in Gemini aspects such the third house. So, as they are on a dual sign, they give two each, so four relatives. The third lord is Jupiter, and no one aspects Jupiter. So, we're showing four relatives. Rao uh, is expecting Jupiter, so less one. Four less one is three. So correct. Now let's go to my chart. I'm Libra, the same, third house is Sagittarius. <coughs> there is the fifth aspect of Jupiter is uh, the third lord, he aspects the third house, so one. A Saturn from his ten aspects aspects from a dual sign, the third house, so two, those are three. Now look at the third lord, Jupiter, he is aspected by the sun, so one. The total is four. Now Saturn is conjoined with Rao, less one, four less one, three siblings, I have three brothers. <coughs> this is my bigger brother, his ascendant is Aries. The third house is Gemini, Does, mm, doesn't, it's not respected by any planet. The third lord is Mercury, he conjoins the Sun and Venus, each give to uh, to relatives, so fourth. Then there is a fifth aspect of Jupiter from a dual sign Pisces, have a two. Then there is a seven aspect of Saturn, one. Total is seven. It shows seven relatives. <coughs> now let's see if there is any reduction. Jupiter is in a twelve house, less one. Saturn is an eight lord star in Dainista. The eight lord is Mars, less one. Venus in Jupiter star. Venus is in Punavasa. Jupiter is in the twelfth house, so less one. Rao is in the third house, less one. So seven is reduced by four. Three siblings. Now let's go to my other brother, the last case. He is ascendant Scorpio, <coughs> and the third lord is the third house is Capricorn, and the third lord is uh, Saturn. Now <coughs> the moon is in the third house. One, one relative, Jupiter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, aspect, the third house, shows another relative. The third lord, Saturn, is aspected by, now let's go to the third lord. The third lord is aspected by Mars, from the, his eighth aspect, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, seven aspect, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. There are no reductions here, so the total is R. Total is three relatives. As you see, this rule is from the G M P astrology. that I have discovered a couple of months ago 
and I've seen that this flue works very well. The GMP is a, a really a wonderful system that I have not completely um, managed it because but I, I have studied the rules for longevity and how to find siblings. As this rule works very well, and this shows that uh, the astrology is a science, and that we will have our destiny. There's no coincidence, does not exist. But people believe that it is a case. Something happens, it's a case. No, case doesn't. Case does not exist. And who? study astrology properly can um, show or demonstrate that the destiny exists. Without destiny astrology wouldn't, should not uh, um, exist. So, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.